I feel like I really did achieve my full potential, and I really feel like this time that came. Right, I know, I know. Everyone keeps saying that. Why do you come back? And I really do feel like I can push more and um, exceed the limit. And um, last uh, four years ago, I was um, an alternate for the American Cup. And this past weekend, I got uh, you know the privilege to be actually a competitor out on the floor. So there's more things I do want to achieve, and there's more things I do want to um, you know push the limit at. And I just feel like. I haven't really reached 100% in my abilities, and I really want to do that. What is 100% of your abilities? 100% is just going all loud and just doing um, just bigger gymnastics than I did before and just really um, achieving the maximum that I can. Um, a lot of things. Um, one, a comeback is, is very tough when you have taken a lot of time off after the Olympics. And it's just like you don't want to come back, actually. You're just like, oh, the break feels nice and the freedom feels amazing. And then they struggle with the discipline of getting back in the gym and getting back into that rhythm. And I guess it's just, um, you know, also your body type. A lot of people's body types, you know, they say very lean. And some people, you know, they um, don't say very lean. And then it's hard to come back and get into shape. And I think that's... Um, um, where people struggle a little bit. Also, if you're doing it for the wrong reasons, the wrong intentions, it, it just doesn't work. If you don't have the heart to do it, to do what you love, and you're just doing it for you know somebody else, it's, it's never going to work out. Um, I guess because deep inside me, it, it's, it's come, coming from my heart, and I really believe that I can achieve more. I really do, and it's just something Gymnastics is like my passion, you know, and I didn't want to give it up. And I, after 2012, I was like, I'm not going to retire. I felt too young and too, you know, fresh to, you know, give up gymnastics. So I was like, I'll, I'll give it another shot. I love it. Very, a much older person. Yes, very mature and very, I uh, still youthful, so bubbly, but very mature and just know what she wants, you know. Actually, I'm still a little indecisive sometimes, <laughs> but I feel I'm feeling more mature and more like. You know, I can handle situations and be very mature about it. More in charge. Of yeah, more more in charge and more in charge of uh, you know communicating and um, you know the assignments too. So um, I think I'm different now. Definitely, my mental game is more um, more stronger this time. More like I'm just I believe in my abilities more, and I'm just so confident when I go out there and just taking one skill at a time, just being more, just letting things flow instead of like muscling them, you know? <laughs> After 2012, it was just a whirlwind and I enjoyed the opportunities and literally like my body was just like, thank you. And my mind was just like, thank you. Cause like just giving it that last push, you know, for the Olympics is just so tough and it's very stressful. So I did, I, I'm so glad that I took that time off because I needed it. My body needed it, my mind needed it. So it's amazing. Um, a little bit it did cause I was so used to that freedom and just like, oh, I can sleep in until like, noon and stuff and not have, having to get up at like eight o'clock you know and being at the gym all day so it was a little bit harder to get back into that rhythm but once I you know got back into training and I missed gymnastics and I started learning new skills it just made me more even motivated to you know be on time and just to get back in the flow of things. Oh that's what that's what competition is about and that's what you know it's all about is just two not only two gymnasts but also everybody just inspires each other and motivates each other and pushes each other to you know the limit and that's what competition is all about and I love that girl I mean I love to give her advice and really love to help her out and um, we laugh literally so much she just have such a ball <laughs> it's definitely a talent that she was given for sure and she's so powerful and so quick it's, it's amazing and I love watching her she's such a fierce competitor so it's it's given it was given to her. Yeah, definitely. Her floor is just stunning. I mean, how high she gets in the form and, you know, how many difficult tum tumbling pads she does. You know, it's so effortless for her. And so that she is very impressive. I feel like because I've been, you know, I've been there and, um, you know, I kind of know what to expect. And also, I've, I've learned a lot. And that's definitely helped me, um, you know, down this road. And I can communicate with my coaches more. Before, I was just like, oh, you know, when something hurt, I'm like, oh, I don't know. And, you know, I'd push myself until, like, something was actually, like, really wrong, you know. And now I can communicate. Be like, hey, can I do three instead of five or something like that. And I, I've definitely matured over the years. And I feel like, you know, post-Olympics definitely helped me um, to mature. Um, you know, coming back into the sport, and um, yeah, I think we, because we all um, prior to the you know Olympics, we all had been 
um, putting rooms together and we would just literally we were all like sisters and we'd have that bond and when you have that bond that family bond you just go out there and you compete and you're just you're just one and I think that we really had that relationship where we all just won we're on the same page and we everyone just went out there and had their own unique treasure treasures and we, we were so determined to head and it just was contagious and also Marta has just um, has a very good plan and makes USA very strong, very dominant. Hmm? I have, and Michaela's here, and I just gave her a big hug. And Kyla texted and tweeted, and oh, geez, I was just so sad because I mean, because you know, Jordan already, you know, had an answer retirement, and then it was just like five, four, three, two, and it was just like no. But I am happy for them with their decision because they are happy. But still, you're just like we need like reunion or something.